We are finally on our way to Bronco. We didn't make it last weekend because we were a little ill. It was a lot of just staying in bed with the stomach bug, fever. Each of us had one of them. Yesterday I got a little burnt and I got some weird tan lines now. I don't know if you can see, but around my eyes, I got a sunglasses tan line. I got a farmer's tan. I also got a tank top tan line. All burn ones though, because I just got burned, not tan. Michelle just asked if I put sunscreen on my face. And I was like, I'm not an idiot. And what'd you say? You didn't put sunscreen on yesterday, so. I got burnt. It was, the rays were strong. We're into Barranco a little bit, and you can tell it's different than Miraflores. It's a little different than Miraflores. I'd say, we'd say it probably has, it just feels like it has more character here. We figure that Barranco kind of reminds us a little bit of New Orleans with all of its artistic stuff. So we're going to the Bridge of Sighs, which is right behind me. It's supposed to have really good views of the city, and it's supposed to be a really cool just bridge. The bridge is so... You can see so many different views from the bridge. There's houses along the beach. You can see the ocean. You can see some different artwork. I get why they call it the Bridge of Sighs. You kind of just let out a sigh when you're here, like, oh, this is so cool. So down there, below us, there's a beach, and it looks like it's an actual beach with sand. Whereas in Mir Flores, all the beaches were on, they were basically on rocks, so people were out laying on rocks. And this beach is a lot more crowded, so... Might have to make our way down here one day. The whole underside of this bridge is graffitied with a bunch of different people, like faces, which is super cool. And then there's also a starry top. graffiti all over down here by the bridge and it's really well done too what do you think about the graffiti I think it's super cool I really like all the purple they use and the intergalactic theme they have going on before coming we had a big breakfast so that we didn't have to buy anything or didn't have to worry about getting too hungry we also made sandwiches to Bring, which we made chicken, cheese, and avocado. So excited to have this little tiny meal. Well, I don't know if we made the smartest decision, but we came down by the beach to check it out. And that only means that we have to walk back up. And it was a lot of downhill, which only means we have to walk all of that back up. Unfortunately, I went down in squat today, but I know I'm gonna go back up really shortly and really quickly. I'm also sore from the gym from a couple days ago because I did hack squats, which I, one, have never done, and two, I had been coming off a sickness. I hadn't been to the gym for about, consistently for a couple weeks because of traveling and then the sickness. So I was sore from that, and then we went today my legs are sore. We checked out the beach and it's 
really bustling and we're definitely gonna have to check it out again. We just checked out this cool festival where I didn't really want to film inside of but because it's all really tightly just people all around and it's really tight and a bunch of people and just congested but it was literally this kind of festival that was behind this building so in like a yard almost or a parking lot. The festival had a lot of vendors that were showcasing uh, sustainable items such as like secondhand um, used like retro clothing and bamboo to uh, toothbrushes and um, home like homemade earrings and it was really cool oh and also art there was a lot of art The architecture of the buildings here is just so cool and it's so artistic even, I'd say. We've had a really fun day in Barranco, but we're on our way back now and gonna rest a little bit before making ourselves some dinner.